In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a web page into a PDF using Adobe Acrobat Pro. I should mention that the uh, if you have the free Adobe Reader, that's not going to cut it. It only reads PDFs. It doesn't make them. You need the full version of Acrobat for this. So the first thing that you need to do is load up your web page in a browser, and you need to copy the address. Now, this can be done locally off your computer, or you can upload it to a web server and get your address from there. From there, you need to open up Acrobat. Go to File, Create, PDF from Web Page. You can see there's also a shortcut, Control Shift O. Now, the way this normally works is you have to delete the URL and pop yours in, paste it in. Then you see this Capture Multiple Levels. You have to click that button so that you can click Get Entire Site. Uh, if you don't click this, then it will only capture the home page of your site. It won't grab all of them. When you click Get Entire Site, it follows all of them, but it only stays in the folder that your site is in. So it's not going to go to uh, higher level folders. It's not going to follow your links to the rest of the web and eventually create a giant PDF of everything in the world. Once you're done with this, all you have to do is click Create. Now normally there's going to be a warning at this point that's saying that Adobe will let you know that it doesn't know how long it's going to take uh, and that's just because it doesn't. Uh, I've disabled this warning already. So you can see that it's slowly downloaded everything and every one of these, if I hit control zero I can see each page, you can jump to each one and if you didn't put in a title on any of the pages, if you forgot to put a title tag in, they will most likely say untitled document here on these links. Now I want to warn you that sometimes Acrobat's going to mangle your design or do weird things with it, like here it cut it into two. And this is because it's trying to take your web design at 1024 by 768 and squeeze it onto a letter sized piece of paper which has a completely different uh, measuring system. That's okay. But now the last step that you'll need to do is to save this file. So you'll need to go to File, Save, and on my desktop it's going to grab the name of the very first page and I'll simply click Save and there's my file. That's what I'll upload for my projects. Thank you.